Ryan Saunders is heading into his second full season as head coach of the Timberwolves. So far, he's had little success as coach of the Wolves, posting a 340 winning percentage. Many do not blame him, however, as they see it as a result of the talent he had on the court. Saunders took over after Thibodeau was fired halfway through the 2018-19 season. He took over a roster that had just traded away one of their stars, Jimmy Butler. The Wolves were 19 and 21 when Thibodeau was let go and finished 17 and 25 under Saunders. Not a huge dip, but still noticeable. The 2019 to 2020 season, the first full season with Saunders as head coach, started well, and the Wolves went 10 and 8 over their first 18 games. It all went downhill after that, however. The Wolves went 9 and 37 after that in a COVID shortened season. A lot of that can be attributed to injuries such as Carl Anthony Towns, who missed 35 games in that season. So how do we judge Ryan Saunders? Is he the right coach for this team and how much of it rides on this season? First, let's take a look at the past. Now I can't say that accepting failure is okay, but it's not like this franchise has been a beacon of success. Only one coach in Wolves history has had a winning record with the Wolves, and that's of course Ryan Saunders' dad, Flip Saunders. The second most winning coach is Tom Thibodeau, the guy who Saunders replaced, and he is one of two coaches to lead the Wolves to the playoffs. Saunders ranks seventh all-time in Wolves' win percentage, which is pretty much in the middle. So it's not like Saunders is losing on a franchise that is used to winning. Now let's see what the players he's coaching have to say about him. After a win against the Thunder in 2019, Town said he showed his whole coaching repertoire tonight. He stayed as composed as anybody tonight. He gave us energy, kept telling us to fight, and kept making the right moves. He was playing chess the whole night and came out with the checkmate. Now that was a couple years ago, but it's easy to see that Saunders is a player's coach. He appears to have won over the respect of D'Angelo Russell as well. In an interview after a game in 2020, Russells was talking about Saunders' decision to keep him in the game instead of subbing him out for defense. He said, I've been in situations throughout my career where teams have made that sub and went all defense. No hiccup, no weakness. I would say for him to trust me and to believe I would be there to execute, that's just our chemistry growing. So that is just one example, but it appears that he has the trust of his two stars, and that goes a long way. For me to give my opinion after looking at the evidence, I would say the Wolves are right to keep Saunders for at least one more season. He hasn't had a full season with healthy players and two stars. I mean, Carl Anthony Towns and D'Angelo Russell have only played one game together. The defense has not looked good under Saunders, and that will be one of the main keys for Saunders' success. If Saunders can inspire the Wolves to be at least middle-of-the-pack defense, that will go a long way, particularly Carl Anthony Towns and D'Angelo Russell. I almost see this as Saunders' first full season. Last year was COVID shortened and hindered by injuries. I say give it some time and see how Saunders does with the new group this year. Well, that's the video, guys. Make sure to like, share, and subscribe, and most importantly, go Wolves.